Imagine a clean rug. Well, a cleaner rug. One without plastic bags floating in the wind. Or your plastic bags ending up in Lake Johnson. This could be a reality for all of you. We could implement a bag tax. I'm challenging you, Mayor McFarland, to introduce this bag tax to Raleigh as soon as possible. I'm also asking for the residents of Raleigh to embrace a bag tax in their city as it can help to reduce the, the pollution and the tax money can be used to fund the programs that can help to reduce the, reduce the pollution as well. Raleigh must implement a bag tax of some kind to reduce the number of plastic bags that are put into circulation and can potentially hurt our environment. I wish to give you some insight on the harmful effects that can be caused by bags, um, plastic bags and how a bag tax can help to change them. Plastic bags only have two uses. One, to transport things we brought to our house, and two, to harm our environment. According to the environmentalmassachusetts.org, plastic bags have an average use time of only 12 minutes and a life expectancy of a thousand years. This means that plastic bags are spending almost all of their time harming our environment and doing very little actually being beneficial to us. These plastic bags are scattered around our beautiful campus here at NC State, they end up in parks, and even find their way to Lake Johnson. Once they make it to these places, there is really nothing we can do to help except to pick them up. Once they make it to these places, or really to anywhere other than a recycling plant, they harm our wildlife and our ecosystem, as well as make our city not aesthetically pleasing. According to a Carolina Journal article, Councilman Gaylord Bonner has began, has began to have his fellow councilmen look up the negative and positive effects a bag tax could have on her out. If it were up to me to solve the problem of plastic bag neg negative impacts on our environment, I would implement this bag tax in Raleigh. It is very similar to Bill 18150 passed in D.C. I believe that a bag tax would be the best way to deter people from getting their goods in plastic bags. It encourages consumers to use reusable bags, like this, instead of plastic bags. The bag tax does not eliminate the use of plastic bags, and consumers who wish to use the plastic bags will simply receive a charge for the beach bag they receive at a store. If a bag tax were implemented in Raleigh, Consumers would be charged a set amount, say around 5 to 10 cents per bag. According to the Carolina Journal, Raleigh's market compares to that of Washington, D.C., and in 2013, D.C. generated more than $2 million in revenue from the bag tax, which that $2 million of Raleigh could be used for cleanup efforts or to build a new recycle plant that can handle these types of bags. I believe that with this bag tax, we will begin to eliminate the amount of plastic bags that find their way into circulation in Raleigh. If the number of bags is cut down, then there are less bags to be littered into our environment and it causes harm. Washington, D.C. has been has seen, has seen pop, uh, pollution reduce and experienced profits from the bag tax by the Bill 18150. This bill has done nothing but great things for the city of Washington, D.C. It could do the same for Raleigh. Research done by the Beacon Hill Institute shows that in Washington, D.C., the bag tag also altered the way that people were shopping by bringing their own reusable bags to use. Also, the bag tax will also bring awareness of the issue that, call, that is caused by these plastic bags. Money could be used to fund cleanup efforts or even special recycle plants to properly dispose of these bags. These actions should be taken to implement. These actions should be taken to implement the it will help to cut down the pollution and other negative effects plastic bags have on our environment. Raleigh needs this plastic bag tax so that it can remain the beautiful and elegant city that it has been. A bag tax is the best way to reduce the amount and number of plastic bags that are used, and they can, be, they can cause harm to our environment. Imagine a headline, early 2015, Raleigh imposes that headline would be the start of something amazing for the city of Oaks, and it could begin 